All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Hug versus Blade. This game taking place here on Terranus Stand. This is taken from the NetEase ladders, so no specific tournament or uh, well, specific reason for them to be playing other than to get in some good practice and, well, love of the game. We'll see what's going to be going down in this particular 1v1 matchup as things are already getting underway here. Over here on the bottom right, we have Blade spawning as, well, the red human. Meanwhile, over here on the top left, we have Hug spawning as the blue orc. Orc versus human in this 1v1 matchup. Are we going to be looking at perhaps some unorthodox play? Or is it just going to be your standard, standard openings Archmage going up against a Blade Master? Only time will tell, and well, time is coming um, up very quickly. Around the 1 minute 5 second mark is usually when the Altar of Storms is done. And well, okay, it's going to be 1 minute 8 second mark. Okay, there you go. And it is going to be a Blade Master going up against an Archmage. No big surprises here right out of the gates as well strategies are starting to become established is this reborn um reborn reforged remade rehashed redone um well it's hug versus blade um Ready to work. I, I don't know is there a guide is there a player named work reborn complete. and the game is hug versus blade oops i meant reforged all right yeah um, this this is reforged all games. They um, they actually took down the previous version of Warcraft 3. You can't play the old version, but um, you can still play with uh, you can still play with classic graphics. Um, I'm currently using classic graphics right now, and a lot of people or p some people were wondering, hey, why do you use those classic graphics? Why do you why do you even do that? And well, the main reason is because. Um, it's really what the players prefer. If you've noticed, like even in the even in StarCraft Two, people don't play with a lot of high level graphics. People often play with the lowest level of graphics possible, and and that way they're able to see what they need to see. They don't need necessarily all of that additional detail that well takes away from the game um, and distracts players technically. Anyways, uh, I can hardly tell the difference. Well, technically you can still play the old version, but only offline uh, and only up to a certain patch. Yeah, that's true. So yes, you can technically play the old version still, um, but uh, you could only play it offline. I don't believe, um, you know what, having not having Battle.net and not being able to play competitively, no real reason for players like Hug and Blade to play with an old patch. Blade Master now looking to back up here. Blade Master did pick up a clause of attack plus six and circulator nobility by taking down that lead apprentice in each of these locations here. All right, very nice items already for that Blade Master. Blade Master now perhaps gonna try to come back around and harass. For me, new graphics is too much. Weapon bigger than unit. Um, yeah, the, there a lot of players, um, a lot of players and a lot of uh, a lot of viewers um, did say that the art style just didn't seem quite right for what they wanted and that is one of the reasons why players still prefer the classic graphics i i personally like the classic graphics and it's also because i'm old and my eyes don't want to relearn what i'm looking at in order to pick up a lot of the information that's going on around the screen archmage now off to the north here gonna clear out this kobold creep camp trying to get to perhaps level three as a grunt now joins in on the fight blade master gonna go ahead and staff of teleportation back home pick up a a, a healing salve most likely and then try to make its way out again oh those kobolds again yeah Hello guys, hello Crota, thank you for tuning in. We're I know it is um, relatively early here on the West Coast. I'm casting around 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning. Dust of Appearance, Archmage does get some damage off on that Blade Master, and that Blade Master doesn't want to take any more damage. He actually wants to heal, down to 274. Footman now taking a little bit of damage there as that Blade Master tried to come back around. Meanwhile, Archmage going after this Apprentice Wizard here. Perhaps it will be able to pick up one more additional useful item. Wait for it, there it is. It's going to be a Cloak of Shadows, and he will be able to play a nice game of Hide and Seek as well. Footman now looking to purposely hide in the very far back. Blade Master gonna go ahead and dive on in, go after the Blade Master or the Footman. No, not going after that unit. And instead, perhaps trying to get in front of him just a little bit. There is that Windwalk Strike, and there is that finishing blow. However, the Apprentice Wizard does exactly what the Archmage wanted to do: disrupt that healing once more. 
Blade Master still has plenty of mana though, as the footmen are easily engaging against that Blade Master. Blade Master forced to retreat back again. There are three grunts holding the door as we are to tier two already, and the Shadow Hunter is ready to go. Shadow Hunter oh, actually well, will be making its way out here in just a moment. Dub or well, Orc Burrows with a lot of peons right there, causing major problems. That Archmage really taking a lot of damage, damage that it doesn't want to be taking. There is one Water Elemental back across over there, and that one Water Elemental should should be able to at least disrupt that torrent totem is it going negative i don't believe so well very slowly it is just going to end up taking a lot of damage as that water elemental is just splashing around and well i don't believe it will take down that torrent totem but it will be necessary to do a little bit of repairs as we see a hex go down onto a footman blade master will be able to get to level two off of this footman here as the crab does the slow sideways walk right there level two right there let's take a look back across here torrent totem down to 230 hit points but it will get completed get up to fortified armor and most likely also get repaired as well back across here shadow hunter low on hit points needs to back away it's going to use that healing salve as well as the archmage sits at level one still or level two and we're waiting for perhaps a second hero. Mountain King should be joining in momentarily, but the Archmage may end up taking a lot of damage. No, nope. Blade Master instead scouting out and now going after that Forest Troll High Priest, trying to get in and that very, very powerful item. Is he going to get perhaps inner fire on himself? No, the Forest Troll High Priest much more concerned about healing up the remaining units, getting inner fire across multiple units here as that Blade Master now going to use a Staff of Teleportation to get away. Mountain King sitting at level 1. Are we going to see Militia perhaps try to set up an expansion? Archmage going to make its way across over here. See that it was recently cleared out. Uh, that item, that pendant of energy, so powerful. That steel right there preventing that Mountain King from getting in too many claps. However, it does open up with Stormbolt over Thunderclap instead as the Water Elementals are now making their rounds out Ready again. All right, this is a five. Well, some some additional creeps left off over here. Archmage now going to make its way off, perhaps over here to the Goblin Laboratory to do a little bit of creeping, which is rather aggressive, considering that the Archmage, well, considering that the Blade Master and Shadow Hunter are both sitting at level two and are very nearby. Archmage making sure that there is not an expansion, no expansion right there. Archmage now coming in from the back here. This is just an illusion as well, as the Archmage is actually involved in the fight down here mountain king getting in a little bit of experience as well priest now joining in on the battle two priest dual arcane sanctum and this is footmen with Ready dual arcane sanctums as opposed to riflemen with a single arcane sanctum all right mountain king gonna pick up that tome of agility plus two mountain king also picking up a robe of magi very high mana indeed robe of magi actually gives uh, what is that 120 mana if, if my calculations are correct 120 mana but more importantly it gives more mana regeneration more mana regeneration on that mountain king we know how powerful and how helpful that often is there's a healing ward now down mountain king gets up to level two archmage has to be very very careful let's take a look priests are taking a little bit of damage that healing ward providing plenty of coverage meanwhile look, let's take a look we are looking at hug just on the other side of the trees here blade master getting up to level three shadow hunter just a little bit shy here as the sorceresses are about to get gain all right healing wave coming across archmage taking a little bit of damage the dust of a or sorry the spell thunderclap now being used mountain king could be in a little bit of trouble archmage now trying to back up again as we're seeing more healing being used back and forth militia now being called over mountain king storeball onto the shadow hunter mountain king still has plenty of mana what is it going to try and do here as the mountain king now trying to engage once more all right healing wave we see the wind walk push to get the shadow hunter out of the bad spot as the archmage now going to be in a little bit of trouble archmage now surrounded grunts scroll of town portal being used as all of the peasants will be forced to get away as well mountain king knows no depleting or departing storm bolt or um thunderclap there as the mountain king was only sitting at level two level one thunderclap level one storm bolt all right a big battle there as the Archmage now continues to look for perhaps another relatively useful, easy to take out creep camp. Archmage going to go after the Kobold Geomancers here. 
Mountain King, will it be able to pick up any useful items? There is that Cobalt Taskmaster. What item is it going to drop? Cobalt Taskmaster dropping off a belt of giant strength. Very, very powerful item for that Mountain King as well. Now up to a thousand hit points as the Archmage, I believe, will be shy of level four. And that Mountain King will be shy of level three. Blade Master nearby keeping track of everything happening right here, right now. As the Blade Master now wanders off to the north, perhaps going to get some easy damage on that Archmage. All right, Mountain Blade Master is right there. Mountain King, all right, engaging. There's that dust of appearance as the Blade Master going to get Storm Bolted, taking a little bit of extra damage from those Spellbreakers, removing all of that precious, precious mana. In comes us in Snare as we are now going into an engagement here. All right, bad positioning for Blade. Blade getting creep jacked and now taking damage from all of these Assassins as well. As the units perhaps try and switch over. No, they're not switching over. Uh, the Enforcer coming back across here mountain king still seeing that level two archmage still seeing that level three stormbolt onto the blade master blade master could be in trouble but has a potion of greater healing should be fine more fighting getting underway militia joining back in they however are already coming to an end there's a monster thunderclap across multiple units here as that blade master tries to level up healing wave still bouncing around shadow hunter seeming to have mana for days as that pendant of energy that it took from the opposing creep camp by the blade master is given to that shadow hunter back down to the south it looks like hug is in a great spot having significant level advantage so far and also has his expansion up hug is going into the mid game very very strong the archmage really needs to get a hero level advantage and or an army advantage here to try and do any pushing otherwise blade is just going to be continuing to try and win in this uphill battle there goes a potion of invulnerability now dropped mountain king may try and get to level three here no does not do so gets the item and then backs away knowing that the blade master and the shadow hunter are just around the corner shadow hunter picked up a wand of the wind will be able to well perhaps stop a unit in its tracks temporarily and then ins ensure another easy easy kill if ensnares were not enough we are only sitting at tier two but we are taking the tier three Torin chieftain perhaps going to be that third hero in just a moment Meanwhile, Blade is sitting on a 50 supply army compared to 50. Both sides having the same number of um, workers, which is a surprise considering that there are um, a goblin, um, well, five extra peons off over here. Is there a goblin shredder here? No, there's only two peons on lumber for the orc army. So that is going to be a little bit more lumber restrictive. You can take a look at it now. 1100, 1200 gold almost compared to only 207 lumber. We'll see how many grunts will continue to be trained. Every race expands, but humans not. What is the reason of that? Humans um, humans normally do fast expand. This is just actually a little bit odd that human isn't expanding right now. Um, this is more along the lines of Blade's particular strategy. Blade is hoping that um, his opponent, who is going into tier two, uh, going into two bases, is going to end up not getting as much gold. 14 gold a second compared to 10 as we are now looking at the mountain king coming across with a major thunderclap there all right thunderclap slowing things down in snare archmage could be in trouble gonna go ahead and try and fight there's invisibility as well no disenchant and to try and reveal that archmage are we gonna take a look perhaps at a couple of raiders who are just lined up in position to throw down multiple and snares there is another thunderclap right there followed by blizzard multiple grunts are getting taken down mountain king just taking all of that damage as well as more blizzard is raining down mountain king trying to constantly line up the position are we gonna get it in the snare yes we are but the mountain king gonna go ahead and get off some easy thunderclaps again finishing off another raider and a couple of those kobolds who are just chasing for good measure mountain king still has a lot of mana there's more blizzard again raider gonna try to come in perhaps get in another another well round of ensnare onto that archmage archmage now low on mana and that is a problem the archmage really needs all of that blizzard to really do a lot of damage there there was a disenchant removing that healing ward another thunderclap across multiple units as the mountain king now also low on mana as well that important important switch from water elementals to blizzard and that has done a, a significant amount of damage across the board however the archmage is not really hitting any targets any longer all right mountain king um, well, with Mountain King trying to retreat back, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability on the Blade Master, able to now finish down one Spellbreaker, 41 supply compared to 48. The army of the Orc now significantly larger. Well, 
it's a four, a 10% larger, I guess not significant, but while now also getting twice as much gold as his opponent. For pure support of the MK, the Blood Mage would be stronger, but the aura of the Arc Mage is also passive and better. So yeah, there is a different times in combat in and out of combat also matters very, very much. Mountain King gonna go ahead and try and engage across over here. Are we gonna get a couple of thunderclaps? That is the important question. That is the perfect place to thunderclap. There you go, getting in multiple damage across all of those units. However, the Arcane Vault does get taken down, meaning no more Spellbreakers. More damage coming across in as well. Blade Master absorbing um, some damage and losing precious, precious bits of mana as the Blade Master gonna try and engage back once more. Constantly getting slowed, that Blade Master just running into problems as the Mountain King gonna try to make its way over are we gonna see some more thunderclaps there you go stormbolt shadow hunter in trouble there it goes shadow hunter completely getting stomped down there goes also another raider a couple of grunts could get taken down as well but no they are able to scroll of town portal out in time hug overstayed in that particular battle and with that overextension and overstay ends up losing not only a shadow hunter but a raider as well tipping things in favor of blade with that said, though, Hug with over t with now well, almost 2,000 gold in the bank, going to be able to easily train back up all of these units and get ready to go. Shadow Hunter was easily, easily resurrected at the tavern, um, and now well, going to be able to be uh, well full on hit points and mana in just a little bit. Meanwhile, Archmage going to try to um, well, Blade going to try and push whatever advantage that he had even though that advantage is now rather small in comes blizzard peons taking a little bit of damage but that orc burrow now taking that damage as well meanwhile what is going on over here mountain king sitting at level three are we going to see an engagement uh, come across or try and fight their way through more sorceresses and priests are joining in on the battle more repairs underway torrent chieftain now joining on the fight with stomp as its main ability it is going to try and well perhaps um, use a stomp to finish off more units here as the expansion here may get taken down what is taking hug so long to get into this spot as the peons are taking a little bit of damage here all right mountain king coming across on the other side are we looking for a possible thunderclap there is the thunderclap there is the blizzard torin are out here with pulverize as well and that is going to be a bit of an issue as the torrent now making their way over. All right, Mountain King perhaps going to try and engage. Sorceresses are trying to retreat. A couple of ensnares should be the difference there. There is a thunderclap. Major damage being rained down here as the Mountain King is going to try and stay and survive. Stomp right there. Mountain King hexed. Is it going to be able to use a potion of lesser and vulnerability? I do not know. Down to 98 hit points. And it does not use it in time. No, uses it in time. It does still have more. Is he going to try and thunderclap again? Mountain King does have enough for another thunderclap. Is he going to be able to use it? Is it stuck in a bad spot? Yes, it is. Healing wave. Mountain King getting disenchanted. Mountain King did have 90 mana for a departing thunderclap, but unable to use it. Mountain King taken out. The Shadow Hunter getting resurrected at the tavern. Something when you have, well, just mountains of mountains of gold can afford to do as the Spellbreakers are now just chasing after the Torrent who are taking so much damage. All right, damage tends to stick onto the Orc army rather long as there is not that many ways to heal. Torrent now back here as well. Are we going to see more slow as we're looking at the Torrents trying to make their way back again? A couple of sorcerers, a couple of priests. There's that Pulverize. One Torrent going to get taken down. Archmage just shy of level 5. Meanwhile, Blade Master getting to level 5 there. All right, resurrecting Torrents. Well, they get knocked down, but they get up again. Spirit Walkers at the Mastery Training able to resurrect these torrents and that is going to cause some more problems as well hey, everyone sorry that i arrived late was finishing a drawing I, I left months ago no no problem thank you for tuning in anyways mountain king well back out on the field has a potion of greater healing um, resurrected rather quickly so most likely from the tavern both sides having relatively a uh, uh, relatively or in the not relatively both sides sitting on um, low upkeep right now. There's a thunderclap right there. Massive Blizzard. Mountain King still has a potion of greater healing to be used. Blizzard still raining down. Spellbreakers absorbing a lot of damage there. Are we going to see some more torrents get taken down? Mountain King, yes. There goes that potion of greater healing. It is going to try to stick around a little while longer. Meanwhile, the Mountain King needs to back away. Could be in trouble. Could get hexed or something else. As the Blizzard is still raining down, causing problems for that entire front line. Mountain King still low on mana, not able to do a lot here. Archmage sitting at level 5 with level 3 Blizzard. 
Level 3 Blizzard dealing 50 damage per wave. Rather high damage indeed across all of those units sitting in the back right now. Mountain King trying to dive and dodge around. There is another Thunderclap right there causing more problems. Again, 54 supply over 60 compared to 70 over 80. The human army is on the run but has a lot going for it as the Blizzard is just causing so much damage making it difficult to try and chase the human army. All right, more slow, slow causing some problems. Mountain King being forced to back up. Torrent Chieftain wanting to line up a good stomp, but unable to get there. Uh, as we're looking at the Torrents, perhaps trying to slip back again. Are we going to see more damage being added through? Mountain King still getting uh, back up to 90 mana here. Level 2 Brilliance Aura with that Robe of Magi acting as a great, great, um, great, great uh, mana regeneration. There's another Thunderclap again. We're going to see a couple of Torrents get taken down. Or are we down to 24 hit points? That Torrent somehow still alive, down to 9 hit points, finally gets taken down there as the priests are being forced to back off. Sorceresses could join back in on the fight, perhaps get in a little bit more slow. And this slow war of attrition, this is pretty much um, a battle of the Spanish Armada against the British Royal Navy. The faster army is just constantly drawing the units in between this little strait right here, causing so much damage and eating and destroying the larger army. Beautifully done by Blade as the Archmage is continuing to push back the other way. All right, Mountain King continuing to push again. Archmage low on mana. Stormbolt. Um, I think there was no no Stormbolt right there. Scroll of Speed trying to come to an end. Are we going to be getting perhaps a little bit of slow as well? There is slow onto one Spirit Walker. Mountain King wants to get a Stormbolt onto another Spirit Walker, and that is going to be two dead Spirit Walkers right there as the, that Spirit Walker gets taken down. All right, Blade winning out on that battle. But what is the point if you do not have your economy behind you? Blade sitting on zero bases right now, just harvesting a lot of lumber, going up against Hug, who is mining off of one base. Cool title idea, Torrent Stomp versus Dwarf Clap. Um, no, that, that happens very, very often. And the fact that the Torrent was unable to really land any stomps in that battle um, makes it a little bit oh well i'm not quite sure if the mountain king got experience there or if the arcane tower got that last hit all right peons now making their way down 75 supply compared to 50 blade is doing more with his units the problem for blade is that hug just seems to have more more units and is constantly just replenishing um, his army. The Spirit Walker is resurrecting Torin. On top of that, the Torin also have 1-1 one, one upgrades. Hug also get trying to set up another expansion over here on the bottom left. And it's my first time seeing Torins in pro play. Um, well, the fact that um, that Blade never went to tier 3 is the reason why that the Torrents are so strong. Also, Blade cannot afford to go to tier 3 since he has never had the time to set up an expansion. Without an expansion, um, it is just too costly to go to tier 3 on one base and try to go for Griffins. All right, in comes the Blizzard right now. This is just mass Torin and Spirit Walkers. Battle now raging on here. There's a Thunderclap slowing down everything on that front line, but a 316 critical strike making for a quick retreat or causing a quick retreat for all of these units. Peons are right, or Peasants are all right here. There's another major Blizzard. There's an Ensnare. Mountain King looking to back up. Torin Chieftain looking to get a stomp off as the Archmage is going to be in trouble. Is the Archmage going to be able to back out? He does not have any survivability items. Mountain King, well, actually leading leading the escape out right now. Stormbolt onto a Raider as the Archmage is going to get exposed from behind and get uh, taken a lot of damage. However, the Spirit Walkers are the ones leading the chase as opposed to the Torin. So the Torrens are then ending up slowing down. There's a major Blizzard off to the side. Blade able to fight in this very narrow corridor again as we're looking at the Mountain King, who has a potion of mana and a potion of invulnerability. There's that potion of invulnerability. There's the potion of mana. Where is that Thunderclap? There is that Thunderclap again. Um, and still just not enough to come out ahead with the Mountain King and the Archmage working together. A very strong duo. Economy is just far too much. Torrent Chieftain could get taken down here. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. No, Scroll of Healing used first. And the Torrent Chieftain is still wandering around in the back, giving faster movement speed and attack speed to all of these units. 28 supply compared to 74. The writing is on the wall. 
Blade has really no chance of winning this game whatsoever. And I think Hug can just attack move with his army and take out the rest of Blade's um, no, the rest of Blade's army here, especially as Blade has that second base over here on the bottom left. All right, a solo one base play coming in from Blade, not enough to take down Hug here. 81 supply compared to 58 at at the very end, and then well, pretty much winning in all four or all three categories: the unit score, the hero score, and the resource score. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.